You guys ever see that movie, Kids? I have no legs. I have no legs. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email. That's right here. But today, we are going to talk about this latest album from Young Thug called Beautiful Thugger Girls. Now, Young Thug, of course, is a very polarizing artist. You got people who think he's a genius because of his unique sound and others who think he's all out dumpster juice. But myself, I'd say I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm definitely not a huge fan of his, but over the years I have warmed up to him and once in a while I find I'll like two or three tracks per project, which is exactly what happened on this one. I actually really like those smooth melodies on Get High and there are some other moments throughout this project where I thought his vocal performance was okay. But for the most part, he really is coming through with that ridiculous sound and shit where he sounds like a goddamn banshee terrorizing a village. And even if you are a fan of Young Thug, I think you can understand why people might not like it because some of these vocal performances are just crazy. Whether he's mumbling like his mouth is full of marshmallows on the song Me or Us, or warbling that hook on Do You Love Me, he really just does whatever the hell he wants. And you know what? I understand that's part of his appeal because he is unique and he's coming through very, very raw. But if there is one thing about this project that I found to be pretty consistent, it's actually the production because there are a lot of very smooth beats on here and a lot of thick bass if you're looking to turn something up in your car. For example, I like that 808s and country infused sound on Family Don't Matter. You get a nice summertime vibe with light guitar strums and trumpet on For Y'all. And Daddy's Birthday is just wavier than Wave Racer 64. So some of these tracks have some really nice production, although as I listened to them, I also kept imagining what it would sound like with a better vocalist over top. Because again, Young Thug's vocals to me are incredibly hit or miss, and more often than not, they're miss, like Shaq shooting free throws. Now of course, Young Thug isn't known for his crazy lyricism, storytelling, social commentary, etc. But he is known for having some funny ass lyrics, so hey, let's take a look at them and I'm going to read them off to you right now. First up, I can't wait to deep stroke to the moaning, I gotta put my dick in your mouth right when you yawn. I mean, that's very, very rude to do to somebody, especially when they're just trying to yawn. But if you are going to stick your dick in someone's mouth, like as a surprise, there's not really any better time because they're like, oh, you just cram it right in there. But obviously make sure you got consent, don't be on that Bill Cosby shit. I pray my daughter never experienced no train. I definitely co-sign that shit so we can pray together. I spray her face with my jeans. I actually kind of like how he got scientific with this one. Like he could have just said, I'm going to blast her with my jizz or something like that. But he's spraying her face with his jeans. That's very Bill Nye of him. So I'm sure Bill Nye appreciated that line. Science. Busting her hair, milky way. And this one is kind of scientific too, but it's more in Neil deGrasse Tyson's field, so I'm sure he would appreciate that. The clever line, not uh, getting, not busted in his afro. Shorty pubics, shave it. He's just getting right to the point. He doesn't want it to look like a lady has Ben Wallace and a leg locked down there. You said you go and kiss from my neck to my chest to my navel and dick and nuts. He's being very specific here, but is it just me or does dick and nuts sound weird? Like. I've definitely heard cock and balls, but dick and nuts is just a weird combination, man. Like jelly and mayonnaise. I bite on that butt, then I suck on her toes and her soul go out of here. Now first of all, feet are just disgusting. I couldn't imagine wanting to actually suck on toes. And I think a lot of that has to do with that scene from Don't Be a Menace when he's putting the hot sauce on uh, what's her name's toes and then he goes to suck them off and oh. He's picking the toe jam off there. Daishiki, that's what her name, it's Swahili for doggy style, but that scene really ruined toe sucking for me. Not that I was into it in the first place, but hey, he's sucking her soul out like Shang Tsung, so good for Thugger. I'm tired of one, I need two, threesome. Yeah, I need a threesome. Just give me a threesome, three, 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 threesome. This one, he just kind of sounds like a bagging ass child. Like when you get your child in the store and they're like, I want candy, candy, I want candy, I want that now, I want that, I want that now. But he just wants a threesome, maybe a blowjob sandwich, you know what I mean? So Thugger is going to get his. He's just making sure you know what he wants. In the back of the cab, this hoe sucking dick from the front seat. 
That is just a lot of commitment, so we gotta give her a round of applause, man. That is 10 out of 10 on the roadhead scale. You remind me of Erica Badu thinking about masturbating to your nudes. This is really one of those risky texts, like you might send it off to somebody, you might get that heart response back and they might really like it, or they might block you on every single social media platform as well as their phone. So I mean, it could go either way, but at the same time, what better compliment to give someone than to tell them you jerk off to them? I'm not advising you do that, it's very creepy, but I'm just saying, that would be very damn flattering. I ain't laid in days for you, treat myself like I got AIDS for you, I ain't fuck none of these girls like I got AIDS for you. Okay. All right, I guess, what, what can I say to that? That's that, let's wrap up the review. He's got AIDS for you, fucking uh, beautiful. But basically, to sum it up, I like some of these beats. Once in a while, the melodies are okay, but I didn't love this project, so just like most of the Thugger projects I reviewed, I give this one a 2.5 out of 5. I think if you are a Young Thug fan, you'll probably love this one. It does seem to be quite polished compared to some of his other work. But like I said, I'm not a big Young Thug fan, so all I can give you is my opinion, and that's what it is. It's just all right. A couple of songs are decent. I don't know how much I'll come back to them, but hey, better than having zero songs on there that I like. But that's just what I thought about it. You guys can hit me up in the comments section with your thoughts, and you already know how to do all that social media stuff, so I don't got to run it down for you any damn more. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.